Windy day for many on the coast with the storm moving offshore, kicking up big waves for communities near the water. And that slow moving system making for a rainy day with the wet weather to continue into tomorrow. CBSN Boston's Jim Smith is in Marshfield with more from there. Jim. And Liam, as you can well imagine, the seawalls down here in Marshfield getting quite a bit of a workout this afternoon and tonight. But if you take a look at the sections here, that have gaps, you can see these wooden structures. Obviously, keeping the Atlantic at bay is a top priority tonight. The wind was howling and the waves were crashing as high tide approached in the Brent Rock section of Marshfield. This place has been battered in recent years. Flooding can be a big problem, but usually the storms come a bit later in the season. It's one of the first tests for recently rebuilt seawalls. Well, you never know what Mother Nature is going to do, but so far, you know, it's been quiet, but could be a long winter. We'll see. You know, they just rebuilt the whole seawall. Hopefully it lasts. Fortunately, the tides are not expected to be unusually high this time, but it's not just the ocean. Emergency crews are also concerned about high winds. You know, this is a long duration storm, and, and what we're really concerned about is with the high winds and the rain is trees coming down and um, power outages with lines coming down. There is a certain fascination with the power and fury of the ocean and storms like this one, but authorities are hoping the locals practice common sense. Put out some notices to people just to really be careful. Do not drive through uh, puddles of water. Stay away from the ocean when the waves start to come over. Back at Brant Rock, the sightseers kept coming, and suddenly the summer season seemed like a very long time ago. You come to the beach, and like it's the biggest wave you ever see. How would you like to be swimming right about now? Uh, I'll pass. Probably a good decision back here now in Marshfield. You can see some of these structures along the water are boarded up, and that's no accident. Uh, they're very close to the ocean, but this is a great place, obviously, during the summer. The next high tide about two hours away, and they're hoping for the best. In Marshfield, Jim Smith, CBSN, Boston.